in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my hourglass slash summer body workout that is beginner friendly in just 10 minutes. That's all coming right up. So a few weeks ago, I shared with you guys my hourglass routine and some of you said you would love to try it, but some of the exercises looked really intense and it was a little intimidating. So I'm going to be sharing with you a beginner friendly hourglass slash summer body routine that you can do in just 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, I am super excited for today's workout. So here I'm just getting a quick stretch in. I always like to do a little stretch to make sure that I avoid any injury. So for today's workout, we're going to be doing supersets, which means that we're taking two workouts and we're doing them right behind each other with no break in between. First, we're going to get started with a squat and a side kick. So a rule of thumb for squats is you want to make sure that you actually squat down far enough. If you don't squat down far enough, you're not actually activating the glute muscles. Make sure that you squat down really, really far, keeping your knees in line with your toes and following that squat with a kick to the side. This is going to help activate the glutes and the side glutes as well. And a quick switch over to the other side. And here comes that superset with a standing side knee crunch. So you are bringing your elbow to your knee. This is going to help activate your oblique muscles. switch to the other side. So first superset is done. Look at me, I'm fanning myself. I'm so hot already, it was such a good burn. So take a quick break here and then next, we are going to move on to the W crunch. So with the W crunch, you want to make sure that you're really lifting your chest and your shoulders off the floor. When you switch to either side, right or left, make sure that you're really twisting the upper body, keeping your pelvis neutral. facing straight forward, elbows in line with your ears. to the next part of the superset which is marching so with marching what this does is helps to stabilize the core and work your abdominal muscles so when you take your foot back off the floor you want to make sure that you're using your abdominal muscles to lift your leg and not using the leg muscles themselves 
done with our second superset comment down below and let me know how you're liking this workout so far so next we're going to be moving on to upper body twists Here I'm twisting the upper part of my body only trying to keep the pelvis and the legs as stabilized as possible it's best to use some type of resistance item here I'm just using an ornament or a design that I actually have in my house already anything that you can find that weighs a couple of pounds will work this is going to help engage your abdominals and your oblique muscles to the next part of the superset which is the wood chop exercise so this is another exercise to help engage that abdominal area and the obliques and it actually works the arms a little bit as well so what you want to do is twist your upper body as much as possible lift that arm as much as possible And quick switch to the other side. Take a break here guys you're doing so so good that was actually a serious workout for my arms all right so just take a breather get a sip of water if you need next we're going to move over to cross behind lunges So with the cross behind lunges, it focuses on the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves. So you're really getting a full leg workout with this. You're creating a deep range of motion to really shape your booty and sculpt those legs. Also make sure that you're crossing behind as much as possible, keeping your upper body stabilized. Resistance for this exercise is completely optional. exercise I'm using the weight of the ball to pull my body over and allowing it to pull me what that does when you lift back up you're using your obliques and your abdominal muscles to help pull your body back up it's really going to help to scope that area
quick switch over to the other side using the same concept, keeping your abdominals engaged the entire time. another super set done great job guys take a quick break get a sip of water if you need we are on to our lax exercise and we're actually not going to do a super set here just one exercise we're going to do some plank twists and plank dips All right, so we're taking that knee and twisting it to the other side as much as possible. You see me take a dip down here, and that was because I realized my bottom was too high in the air. You wanna keep your body in as straight of a line as possible, twisting that knee to the other side to really activate those oblique muscles. Here we're going to come down to a plank for just 15 seconds guys keep your body in a straight line engage those abdominals as much as possible you can do it and finish this out with some plank dips we made it guys good job so guys that was my 10 minute beginner friendly hourglass slash summer body workout I hope you guys enjoyed it and was able to take something away from it if you're interested in more videos like this then make sure you subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when my next video drops I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye guys